Managing suspense accounts is an essential task for the finance department. First of all, for the compliance reasons. External auditors actively check on suspense account open balances. And secondly, for insight reasons. Missing administrated goods receipts will lead to incorrect financial reporting. SAP s delivers a new solution for managing this in an efficient way and hereby empowering the finance department. Hello, I hope you're having a good day. My name is Dick Pelikan and I work as a SAP Finance Consultant for McCoy & Partners. For nine years, I've worked at multiple customers in diverse industries and a common issue is the handling of incomplete purchase orders where there is a missing goods receipt or an invoice receipt. For this, SAP has introduced a new GRIR tool in s with a more clear overview, with a nice Fiori interface and an improved functionality. GRIR differences can be analyzed, assigned via workflow and solved by either posting the missing document, so the goods receipt or the inverse receipt, or setting the flow to complete it and posting the difference. A short introduction on the GRIR functionality is that this is applicable in s when using the freeway match method. So this is when you have a purchase order with an invoice receipt and a goods receipt. Normally, all three should match. So you will have initially a purchase order, followed by a goods receipt, followed by an invoice receipt. This uh, posting on the invoice receipt will offset the GRIR account, as will the goods receipt. In the end of the flow, uh, this will normally leave a balance of zero on the goods receipt, invoice receipt account. However, for issues where there is no goods receipt or no invoice receipt, or there are administrative issues, so meaning there was a goods receipt, but it's not um, updated in SAP, this will lead to a balance on the suspense account and incorrect financial figures. Via this end-to-end -end demo, I want to take you to the new GRIR s solution. We have two apps. The first is the reconcile GRIR accounts where the differences are handled. And the second is the monitor GRIR uh, differences. So it's a reporting application. The first advantage is that there's a clear overview. So in the old transaction, we only had a list of the issues. And in the new solution, we can do effective reporting. So the app initially opens uh, where you see on a posting date. So we change this to this month. And we now have the differences for this month, allowing us to drill down further into the applicable cases for us. So for example, we want to handle all purchase orders that are older than a year where we have differences. A second advantage is the smart fax functionality. So for example, we want to look into differences that are older than a year, and we want to drill down into the ones where we only have no goods receipts. So we select the smart fact no goods receipt posted and we only have the cases that are in our selected period and have no goods receipt. So now that we found our cases, we can drill down and handle these differences and solve the underlying issues. The second big advantage in the new solution is the integration with the logistics. In the old functionality, we could only see the documents from the financial uh, part. In the new solution, you can here see in the overview screen, the purchase order itself, the goods receipt, and the invoice receipts. In this case, there's only an invoice receipt. But say we wanted to look down into the documents, we could drill down into the goods receipt, the invoice receipt, see who posted it, and find additional details. In this case, we will drill down into the purchase order, so we can find uh, things from the vendor, who created this purchase order, what kind of goods are being bought, um, and for example, who submitted the PO or who is responsible for these goods receipts. Drilling down into these goods receipts and the purchase order data allows us to make us fast and informed decisions. A second big advantage is the workflow functionality. The workflow functionality will allow us to quickly assign this difference to the right person. So in this case, um, we have a missing goods receipt and we could assign it directly into the recipient of this purchase order to either post a goods receipt or inform us that a goods receipt is not coming. As you see here, the system has multiple statuses. So in this example, we will go for the check goods movement, but we could also check the invoice receipt or set the status to uh, ready for write-off. For now, we will continue the flow. In this case, we will go directly to the perform write-off functionality to show the change there. So I will process the item and set 
um, the status to ready for write-off. This allows us to perform the write-off later. Now we are handling them individually. There's also a mass process option. So now I'm setting the, uh, the perform write-off status. This allows us to perform the write-off. As you see, this button is now also selectable. In practice, this will be done via MS mode. So for example, you could say all documents with a missing goods receipt and in mass or individually set them to the status. And then in mass, you can perform the write-off. For now, I will do this on an individual basis. And as you can see here, we can change the document number. And now we got a confirmation that the document is posted. So now I will load, I uh, will reload this item so that the second posting will appear as well. So we reopen the item and then I will post, see, go to the document overview of this flow. So as you see, the balance of this difference is now zero since we posted the difference. And if we go to the T-accounting overview, we can see an overview of both the invoice receipt and the GRIR correction posting. So now we see both postings. We see there was an invoice receipt on electricity costs and on the GRIR account. And this is now offset to payables for now. Now we'll go to the second application. This is the monitor application. Here we can uh, monitor the differences that are handled in the other application. This works via the KPI functionality. So when I open this application, you will see a bunch of KPIs. Like for example, who is the processor? So we see nice colors, who it is assigned to. We see multiple graphs, like where we have a GR amount surplus, GR equals IR amount. So now we want to drill down into the ones where we have a GR amount surplus. So more goods receipts and invoice receipts. I will click on the graph to go back into the other application. So this has effectively taken us from the reporting into the uh, work list again, where we can process these differences. So summarizing, we see big, three big improvements. We have an improved user interface, allowing us to quickly find the relevant differences. We have a better integration with logistics, allowing us to quickly look into the relevant data also on the purchase order side and the goods receipt side. And we have workflow capabilities. So for example, we can directly assign the difference to the person who should have done the goods receipt. So he can process the goods receipt or inform us that it's not coming. All in all, this should make it easier to handle these differences, leading to a more streamlined one that closes close process and more accurate financial figures. There are even more possibilities with machine learning to automate the process. This is however an additional license whether the improved functionality alone has already plenty of benefits for the average SAP user. So what are your thoughts now about the improved GRIR reconciliation in s Leave your comments below and make sure to subscribe to our channel for more interesting s topics. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next one. Goodbye.